Okay, today, today is Friday, June 15th at 1.05, and um, I am monitoring my speculation of leakage, and um, I just used the restroom. I checked my panties. They were dry, so um, no concern there um, as of today at 1.05, so I will check again at my next, my next um, bathroom break from bed rest and hopefully it continues to be dry um the goal is um i pray that i'm not leaking if i'm not leaking that's a plus i also get my results back today to determine if i am in preterm labor or not so i'm praying that that is also a negative and um if those two things are negative the preterm labor and that i'm not leaking I just got to stay on bed rest and keep this baby in my belly for five more weeks and I am <laughs> flying easy. So that is the hope and the prayer and the goal and all that good stuff. So um, nevertheless, um, I'll continue to keep uh, everyone posted. Um, I know other people are going through the same thing and it's kind of good to hear feedback from what other people are doing. So anywho, um, check back later. Hey, it's me. Um... I'm back and a uh, second restroom check at about uh, three o'clock and uh, I'm dry I'm so happy so anyway I thought my doctor's office was gonna call me back with the results um, with regards to me being in preterm labor but I haven't heard from anyone so I'm going to assume that they did not see anything that they felt alarmed enough about to call me I did call them and left a message but no one called me back so um, I feel fine I feel good my back aches every now and then but I think that's just from being uh, just from being in the bed <laughs> all day all night all night all day but uh, at any rate um, I'm doing great no cramping no problems none of that good stuff so anyway um, I'm still dry and as far as I'm concerned I am NOT in preterm labor so uh, until further information is received so yay hi there I am coming to you live and raw uh, <laughs> Today I'm very happy. I'm I'm very very happy because I am 31 weeks. Um, I started bed rest at 30 weeks and three days, so um, this is a little milestone. So yay! Very excited there. Um, just to give a brief update. So far, I have not received the results of my um, FFO swab which was to determine, you know, a protein that lets the medical staff know if I'm in preterm labor. But I'm kind of upset about it, but I'm not going to be too upset about it because she told me that even if they had the information that I was in preterm labor, the test is so new that they really don't know what to do with that information except monitor me closely which they're doing anyway because now I have to go in once a week because I'm considered a high risk uh, pregnancy. So with that said, I'll just either check my portal because they have access where I can try to check my updates online or um, and or I will call them um, Monday morning just to see what's what. I do not think that I'm in preterm labor for the simple fact that I'm not having you know cramps, contractions and things of that nature. So, um, I'm grateful to God there that, um, that that's going well for me. Um, what else is going on? Oh, fingernails. My daughter, she's my, um, she's my bed rest pal. So she comes and visits me and comes up with things for us to do and read and all that good stuff. So she, you know, we painted fingernails and she picked the color and, I don't know what funky green this is, but this is my green polish, so really excited about that. And um, my husband, he went um, shopping yesterday, so he, he bought me, you know, fresh fruit and, and all those good things. And I told him I need to drink water like a fish because they were concerned about my fluid levels. Um, 
so he went shopping for me and, and I put a few other extras on the list like body wash and stuff like that so he bought me some nice stuff so well from Walmart but it's still nice stuff so we did that um, yesterday watched movies watched a Steven Seagal movie yesterday it was action packed lots of violence <laughs> I was surprised I was able to stomach it, but it was action packed, and uh, so I watched that yesterday. And I watched Why Did I Get Married too, and that was interesting. So I watched that, and then the day before that, uh, I watched Safe House, but it should have been called like Unsafe House because it was anything but safe, because there was Safe House they went to wasn't safe. So anyway, so I've been catching up on movies. I'll probably look at some magazines today, check out some sales online, uh, probably do some shopping for me and the baby and um, and my daughter and kind of go from there. But very excited. Like I said, the big news is I'm 31 weeks. Um, also, excuse me, I just had breakfast. Sorry. Um, the other great news is I am not leaking. Um, at least I don't think I'm leaking. Um, at my last visit, she told me if I thought that I was leaking to go to the hospital. And that's always important. If you if you know you're leaking, if you think you're leaking, you need to go. And um, because you don't want to uh, create a, a risk for infection. Because at that point, once you're leaking, that means that the barrier um, between the baby and yourself has been compromised and the baby is exposed to infection and you are rightfully so also um, um, exposed to infection. So basically she told me to um, take my temperature, which I've been doing on the regular with this little guy. It's so cute and easy. You know, I use it for my baby girl, well my daughter. She, well, they'll both be my baby girl. So, and you just take it and swipe it over the forehead, you know, 97.4. So, I'm under the fan and I'm in the AC. So, yeah, 97.3. So, uh, I'm probably a little cooled off right now. But yeah, so that's what I use to take my temperature and to monitor it, make sure it doesn't like, you know, spike up or anything like that. But so far, um, I've been checking my panties and they've been looking really good. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And uh, like I said, uh, just kind of holding on, hanging in there. I am sitting up briefly if no one's noticed that I'm not actually like laying down in the bed. I am sitting up so um but I'm about to lay down right now because I don't want to risk anything so um but it does feel good to sit up because my hips have been killing me so um I just surround myself by a lot of pillows and when I lay down I try to support my belly with a pillow and I try to support my back with a pillow and just try to you know put a pillow between my knees and um, create just like a little comfort zone for me and go from there. So I'll probably work on hair next, maybe eyebrows, who knows. So um, just a little thing. My ankles are super skinny, like they were very, um, very fat. So now my fluid is going down, like in my ankles and stuff like that. So I'm really happy about that too. So it's just a matter of, um, being a well you know we're always good mommies and sometimes life happens and that's the thing about life you know it happens um please you know don't don't join me in the beat myself up program in the what did i do and how could i have prevented this thing you know sometimes it's just life sometimes these things just happen so um I've made a promise to myself not to beat myself up and I believe that you know you should do the same you know um, I cannot pinpoint one thing that I could have done differently you know um, as they say hindsight is 2020 maybe I shouldn't have walked 
you know, that extra few steps. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up that bag. Maybe it was too heavy. You know, you start thinking back, you know, maybe I shouldn't have given in to Honey that night and let him, you know, tear it up or whatever. You know, you start thinking of like 50 billion things that you could have done differently. But you can't pinpoint one thing at all. So, um, this is called life and life happens and, you know, sometimes pregnancies are copacetic you know you can do a billion things and nothing changes nothing matters and sometimes you you're pregnant and you can't do anything and you have to be on bed rest and that's just it just depends on your body and what it does so um, I have to also recognize that I'm older uh, my body is different I mean our body changes day by day imagine how much it changes year by year so just keep those things into consideration and don't beat yourself up about being on bed rest and um and be thankful for your support you know if you have support if you have you know kids there helping you or a spouse or whomever there a parent or whoever they're helping you on bed rest be grateful and thankful to them you know because it's hard i know everything fell on my husband at once you know we have a four-year-old um he's taking care of her you know he's taking care of the house and he's still working and he's taking care of me so i mean it's just a lot going on so just kind of you know ease up on them too <laughs> ease up on them too and um and just kind of go from there all right bye